Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about movie extras. As Economic Daily reported, the requirements for film extras have become more lenient. An extra can get a role if a male extra's height surpasses 100 foot 5 centimeters or 5 foot 5. A female extra needs to be at least 5 feet tall with a high school degree to get a part. Even if they land the job, their payment is still incredibly small. For 5 a.m., these extras are paid an additional 10 RMB or $1.60 per hour. Among these film extras, martial artists are paid the most. Their daily payment usually reaches 200 RMB or $32. In many Chinese films, there are extras that need to play prostitutes, or even just a dead person lying on the ground. Their payments are just slightly higher. Apart from their basic remunerations, these roles usually pay a little extra. Granted, it's still somewhere between 16 cents and $1.60 per hour. Some of the extras are used as stunt doubles. If the extra needs to be punched in the face, then the highest bonus available is just $5. At these rates, they should probably open a side business that allows consumers to punch people in the face on camera for just $10 a hit. If they're seen in the movie as cut, then they can only get half of their originally agreed upon payment. Each film extra will sign a contract with the extras union. The union in turn calculates each extra's workload on a monthly basis. It then pays their salary based on the workload. This method does protect the interests of film extras, but the low payment still makes the union laughable. Extras union. The union in turn calculates each extra's workload on a monthly basis. It then pays their salary base on the workload. Normally, a film extra can earn $320 per month. Film crews would cover the cost for food and accommodations, but these people's salaries are still lower than waiters in big cities. Only a few of them are lucky enough to become frequently used extras. The well-known extras, by the way, do receive slightly higher salaries. They make around $80 to $130 per day. That is 10 to 20 times more than the average extra. Considering the low living costs in Hongdian compared to Beijing, $320 per month is enough to live off of for them. Of course, this doesn't mean they are living well. The huge gap between Chinese film stars and those of extras make many wonder if the industry is really protecting its employees. Chinese film stars earn over $500,000 in monthly salary. Meanwhile, those stars get to punch a poor guy in the face for just five bucks. Most Chinese film extras have low salaries and low social statuses. The unsteady work largely curbs their career development. It also drains their income since there aren't other jobs that can really curbs their career development. It also drains their income since there aren't other jobs they can consistently hold while competing for these roles. So far, no Chinese labor laws directly protect their rights. These exploited individuals are poor, vulnerable, and sometimes extremely famous. Don't go away, because up next for our question of the day, we'll hear if Beijingers think extras should be paid more. Stay tuned.